Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, a Manatee County Sheriff's deputy has resigned following a criminal charge in Sarasota County. Former Deputy Stephen Buckle stepping down after he was charged with battery from an incident that occurred Monday, August 7th. Buckle was approaching five years with the Sheriff's Office starting in September of 2012. A criminal case is pending. And now to the terror in Charlottesville. We now know the name of the 32 year old woman killed when a car plowed into a crowd, injuring 19 others. Five are still in critical condition. Elizabeth Herr joins us live with the latest. Good evening. Police here in Charlottesville have the authority to enforce a curfew if necessary, but so far, no need with the city and the nation uniting against hate. From Charlottesville to our nation's capital and cities across the country, a rally for unity and prayers for the victims, including two veteran troopers and fathers, Jay Colin and Burke Bates, killed in a helicopter crash responding to the violence. And Heather Heyer, a 32-year-old paralegal who, according to her mother, died standing up for what she believed in. Heather's life was not about hate. And this young man who ran my daughter down mistakenly believed that hate would change the world. And this is new video of that man, 20-year-old James Fields Jr. with a known white supremacist group. Then hours later, Fields allegedly carrying out his attack and arrested for murder. His former teacher now saying Fields even made pro-Nazi comments in high school. He felt that the views that Adolf Hitler espoused were correct. Tonight, Charlottesville still on high alert. As one of the organizers of the Unite the Right March is confronted by counter protesters and forced to run from his own news conference. And the White House clarifying President Trump's response using words he has yet to say in public while condemning hatred. The statement reading in part, of course, that includes white supremacists, KKK, neo-Nazi and all extremist groups. Well, as for that suspect charged with murder in this case, he is being held without bond and due in court tomorrow. We are live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm Elizabeth Herr for ABC News. Back to you. All right, then. Thank you, Elizabeth. The national organization Indivisible helped organize more than 400 vigils across the country tonight and right here in downtown Sarasota. ABC 7's Erica Jackson helps explain why these silent protesters are taking a stand almost 1,000 miles away from Virginia. Hundreds of people are protesting against the violence in Virginia, spreading a message of hope without saying a word. We stand with all the other people in this country who oppose those hateful, bigoted, violent actions. Protesters breaking nearly seven minutes of silence to explain everyone should be protected by the 14th Amendment and Equal Protection Clause. And there's no room for racial segregation. Social justice, equal justice, economic justice, for everybody, no matter your religion or your race. Together, men and women of all ages and races lighting candles for 32-year-old Heather Hayer, killed after a car drove through a crowd at Saturday's rally in Charlottesville. President Donald Trump addressed that violence, but Action Together Suncoast President Diane Perry believes his choice of words could have been stronger. He implied that there were two sides divided, uh, there was only one side that was violent, and that was the white supremacist. He made a mistake there. He should have talked about it as terrorism. Uh, it's unacceptable. Republican Party member Martin Hyde agrees with Perry, but believes President Trump simply misspoke during his press conference on Saturday. I think on this occasion he just responded um, to the fact that they were in some part uh, blaming him for an action of a, of, of a crazed individual. I think he should have addressed the reality that uh, at both ends of the political spectrum um, this kind of radical behavior is uh, terribly divisive. It gets nothing done. Like many, Hyde doesn't see why any American, Republican or Democrat, would ever act out against a person's gender, race, or ethnicity. The flag that I wear on my lapel every day is for everybody and uh, no Republican that I know 
uh, would say anything else. A few more vigils will take place around the country on Monday to honor those injured and killed in Charlottesville. Reporting in downtown Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Erica. And now we head over to Wendy Ross for a first check on our local weather. Wendy? And we have been very quiet tonight, Adam. We're looking at very warm temperatures, though. Still, it's 85 degrees and it's 11 o'clock at night. That's an awfully warm temperature for this hour. We have fair skies, no rain to cool us down. Winds are coming in out of the west southwest at around 3 miles per hour. And as you can see, there's no rain around. We're not looking for any showers to develop over the next couple of hours. The showers that are falling right now are right around Lake Okeechobee and they are going to start to drift in our direction. This is what it looks like for the next 12 hour period. We're going to start to see some of this rain moving in our direction, but it starts to dissipate. Then by the morning hours, we start to see those coastal showers developing and so we'll start to see a little bit more rain back in the forecast with about a 20 percent chance of rain during the morning hours. You can see our temperatures are going to bottom out to around 78 degrees before the night is over. We'll let you know what we can expect for this work week forecast the rest of the day on Monday. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Adam. All right, thank you, Wendy. Well, many are still stunned by the sudden passing of Venice Chamber of Commerce CEO John Ryan. Chamber leaders were notified of the news on Saturday after Ryan suffered a heart attack during the morning hours. Venice Mayor John Hollick spoke with ABC 7 today about what kind of man Ryan was and the legacy he'll be leaving behind. Hollick remembers him as an ordinary man who did extraordinary work and a good friend. He was the type of person to always have their hand out to help rather than take something from you. And with 20 years on the chamber, he was a real asset to area business that will be hard to replace. Could always rely on, on John if I needed to know uh, the pulse of the business community. He was just a phone call away, always willing to help. He served on one of our advisory boards for a while. Um, he just had the heart of Venice in him. Details for funeral arrangements have yet to have been made public. Well, we expect most of those children are in bed by now with Sarasota County Schools heading back to class early in the morning. But with school zones becoming busy once again, the Sarasota Police Department wants to remind drivers that they will be out in full force near schools. And they also want to remind drivers of Florida law around school buses. A good rule of thumb for bus stopping. A lot of people think because it's a six lane road, you don't have to stop going the opposite way. If there's not a median, a uh, raised median in the middle of the road, you have to stop. I don't care if it's 20 lanes. If there's not a raised median that you, if you can just cross the road, then you must stop. If there's something that's stopping you from crossing the road, which is a median, then you don't have to stop on the opposite side. And keep in mind, speeding in school zones can cost you with tickets starting at $206 and going up over $1,000 should you be doing over 30 miles per hour. Well, yoga, health enthusiasts, and those looking to learn more about how to relieve stress, all stopping by a health and wellness event taking place in downtown Sarasota this afternoon. Hosted by the Sarasota Collective, the event also featured a live auction. We really believe in community, and we feel that sustainability and happiness and joy has a lot to do with the foundation of community and that's what we're here working to do is to bring people together in heart connections and networking. Proceeds from today's event will be going to raise money for Health Ski, a nonprofit organization that works to make yoga more accessible to the public and encourages entrepreneurism, including yoga teacher training tuition waiver programs. The Coast Guard responding to a medical emergency earlier today. A 45 foot, excuse me, 45 foot response boat from Coast Guard Station Cortez, Florida, responding 20 miles west of Egmont Key after a diver surfaced and it was experiencing dizziness. The man was flown to first responders at Fort DeSoto Park Bay Pier. He was then transported to a nearby hospital, and there is no update on his current condition. Well, still to come here on ABC 7, a Florida family displaced. A fire police say was intentionally set, destroying their home. And a case of road rage caught on camera. How deputies think this footage will help in the case. Stick around.
If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Attention blood thinner users. If your loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The widely prescribed blood thinners Xarelto and Pradaxa have been linked to a number of dangerous side effects, including internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, stroke, brain hemorrhaging, and even death. If you or a loved one suffered any of these injuries after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the menu. Manufacturer. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or a loved one took Xarelto or Pradax and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Welcome back. A Florida family is recovering tonight after police say a man purposely set fire to their apartment, knowing that three children were inside at the time. Alex Hagen has the story. A day later at Stony Brook. Oh, no. The situation still hard to put into words for Trinice Smith. I'm trying to get over it, but I can't. Friday evening, police say a man set fire to Trenise's apartment with her three kids, including a one-month-old infant still inside. I just seen smoke coming from my window. And I ran out the door trying to bless windows and stuff. Everybody was helping me. Officers say neighbors rescued the two older kids, ages one and three. Firefighters saved that one-month-old infant. All three will be okay. The man who allegedly caused the fire, Trenise's ex-boyfriend and the father of two of her kids. Valmondo Williams. I don't got no words for him. None. So it kind of shook me up. Joshua Preston, Trinice's boyfriend and the infant's father, is just trying to be there for Trinice. That's most important. Yes, it is. Children are miraculously fine. Mayor Thomas Masters says the community is also there for them, providing shelter, food, and anything else the family may need. And we're there. It's all about the people. And that helps get this family through this horrific situation. Tragedy. Tragedy is uh, part of life. It's all about how you deal with it and move forward. That family displaced by the fire have since been, uh, excuse me, relocated to a local community center and investigation is ongoing. In other news, a dramatic case of road rage in Kissimmee, Florida caught on camera. This video now being released by the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. It shows footage from a July 19th aggravated assault case the victim parking a Nissan Versa, excuse me, the victim parking and then a Nissan Versa following him in. But when he, the victim got out of the car, the driver accelerated, running him over. That driver then fleeing the scene. Deputies are still on the lookout for that driver. Well, Amazon says it is taking action against potentially counterfeit solar eclipse glasses. The company announcing that it has contacted and is issuing refunds to some customers who purchase glasses on Amazons that may not comply with industry standards. They've also removed several listings for the glasses on their website. To safely view the solar eclipse on August 21st, you will need a special pair of glasses that are ultra dark. This is to prevent eye damage from those sun's rays. And a good rule of thumb 
is that you want the glasses that you can't see through at all, and I can't see through these <laughs> at all right now. And you know when the, the studio lights are hot, and I can't oh, see they anything. Are right. They are right, and you can't see them, really? No, I'm just, I'm, oh. I'm kind of in your general direction right now. Yes, you are. I'm living yes, it up. Are. Oh, my goodness, let me yeah, see. That is, it. that's amazing. How about that? Well, oh my gosh, that is a blackout. It really <laughs> it is a blackout. That's all you amazing. can see is the sun. It's all you want to see. Oh wow! And you won't be able to see that for that whole two minutes. You won't yeah. be able to see it. Isn't that exciting? Amazing? Just that. That is exciting. Well, we're going to be talking about that more as the week comes up, uh, of course, because it's only a week and a half away, I think. 91 degrees was our daytime high today and 77, the overnight low. And that is normally a little warmer than we usually are, you can see, but not too far off the mark. Back in 2007, that wasn't too long ago, it was 101 degrees. And this is what it feels like right now. I still have to bring this up because it's just amazing. It's like stepping into a blanket outside. We've got temperature feels like readings in the 90s right now along the coastline. And currently at the airport, it's 85, 74%, or 74 degrees dew point, and 69% humidity. So it is very, very very muggy out there. Now we have this area that you can see that's been showing a little bit of dryness that kind of moved in and that did affect our weather throughout the day today and it's still affecting it at this hour. We're looking at mostly dry conditions taking place around the region and the only rain that's taking place right now is around the Lake Okeechobee area and that is going to be eventually drifting in our direction, dissipating as it does so, but then what, we'll, we'll, what we will see is that during the morning hours tomorrow we'll start to get a couple of showers developing. You'll be able to see them right around up until about 1030. We'll probably see just a couple of showers of rain. What we're going to be getting though is about a 20% chance of morning showers that are going to be taking place. Now we have GERT in the Atlantic and GERT is moving on towards the north northwest at around nine miles per hour right now. It has increased in its intensity just a little bit. 45 mile per hour winds. This system happily is going to be moving away from the United States and certainly not going to be a problem for Florida. So this is all good news. And you can see this is where the spaghetti models are taking the system and they're all in agreement, moving it very far away from the U.S. mainland. And this is the system as it appears right now. And you can see it really is starting to develop very nicely. It's got that, that uh, spiral a shape that is now beginning to show up and we've got all of those spiral bands starting to feed into the center of the system so it's something that we're going to continue to watch but from a distance and isn't that nice to know it's not going to be a problem for us. The rest of the Atlantic is nice and quiet until we get over to the coastline and now what we have is we do have a system out here that is becoming a tropical area of disturbance and so we're going to continue to watch that because over the next couple of days there's a chance of development and that's where this is right now. And so we'll continue to watch that as it moves off towards the west. If you are heading to the beaches tomorrow, the winds are going to be out of the southwest at five knots, seas one to two feet, and it's going to be nice and smooth on the bay and inland waters. We may get an occasional shower that's going to come on through, but again, the rain chances are going to be lowered. We're expecting a 20% chance in the morning, and then later on in the afternoon, we'll get those showers developing east of I-75, and we'll see another 20% chance developing at that point. Temperatures at the beach are going to be nice and hot, 90 degrees. Partly cloudy skies for tonight. It's going to be warm and muggy. Our overnight low in the 70s. Tomorrow, scattered showers. Once again, a 20% chance of rain in the morning and then in the afternoon as well. We can see those showers. And we keep those rain chances low through Tuesday, and we start to pick them up beginning on Wednesday. Adam? Thank you, Wendy. Sports will be coming up next after the break. Stick around. Consumer Cellular makes it easy to stay in touch with family and stay within our budget. Now our cell phone bill is only a fraction of what it used to be. Our average customers get everything they need for about $25 a month, and plans start at only $10 a month with no contracts. Consumer Cellular has a great choice of phones. Check out my new one. I picked this simple phone. I use my son's old smartphone. Kept my number too. Consumer Cellular has been an approved AARP provider since 2008, and members get exclusive discounts. It's a good thing Consumer Cellular is always there, because sometimes I need a little help. 
Sometimes. We're proud to have received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service among non-contract wireless providers. Over the years, we've seen a lot of change. We actually use change. Luckily, there are some things we can still afford. Like, like consumer, consumer cellular. cellular. Stop paying too much for wireless service. Switch now and for a limited time, get a $20 credit on any new line of service. Call 1-800-920-3084. Go online or visit a Target store today. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. Um, and I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her so I could call and thank them. And she's doing fine. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Life Alert saves a person from a catastrophe every 10 minutes. Life Alert is a lifesaver. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. That's 1-800-652-3012. Call now, 1-800-652-3012. For a free brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. ABC 7's official Suncoast Hurricane Guide arms you with vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Suncoast, including how to create your readiness plan and survival kit. Download yours today at mysuncoast.com. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Now, sports. Round four of the PGA Championships at Quail Hollow Golf Club in North Carolina earlier today. Justin Thomas starting the day two shots back of the leader. Kevin Kisner had two bogeys and three birdies before this putt on 10. And yeah, we're just going to sit here and wait this one out and think about the classic ending, the Caddyshack and Danny Noonan winning that huge bet. Any moment now, there it is. Birdie on number 10 for Thomas, and then on 13, it's another spectacular shot for Birdie. Chip in off of the edge of the green, and Thomas is fired up. He would finish the round three under. Kisner would finish three over on the day, and the world's 14th ranked player locks up his first major title ever. Well, it's Rays and Indians in a series finale. Edwin Encarnacion taking Rays rookie Austin Pruitt deep to left for a solo jack his 24th of the year, but not to be outdone. Steven Souza Jr. comes up clutch for Tampa Bay in, excuse me, in the sixth inning with his 25th homer of the season. It ties the game at three. But Cleveland answers back in the eighth with another solo shot. This time it's Austin Jackson. Rays lose four to three. They head to Canada tomorrow to take on the Blue Jays. Giancarlo Stanton went deep as well. That's not really surprising, but what is special about this particular home run is that it ties the game at three for the Marlins, and it's also Stanton's 42nd homer of the season, which also ties a club record originally set by Gary Sheffield. Stanton already has the Marlins record for career home runs. That number is 249 and certainly climbing. Tim Tebow reached base last night, but it wasn't another home run for him against the Tampa Yankees. Tebow taking a pitch right to the back of the head sending a wave of concern and some boos through that mostly Florida crowd. Tebow was able to walk it off and would remain in the game. He is hitting 243 with a 311 on base percentage through 44 games with the St. Lucie Mets so far this year. And at Tebow's alma mater, uh, UF has 
Seven football players suspended for their opener against Michigan. An anonymous source telling the Associated Press that those players were suspended for mis is misusing school-issued funds. Receiver Antonio Callaway is among those suspended. Head coach Jim McElwain called their choice extremely disappointing. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. In the park on a bench, on the beach on a towel, or on your couch with your kid, your campus is wherever you want it to be. You don't go to college, college goes to you. That's Independence, that's Independence University. You schedule classes around your schedule and all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet are included with tuition. At Independence U, you'll learn from professional instructors with real work experience. You'll get personal support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree, but keep your life. That's Independence. That's Independence University. So if you're really smart, you'd call now. Call 1-800-319-0237. Independence U for an independent you. Call 1-800-319-0237. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a, a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dental have provided over $330 million in free dental work, free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it is something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. The official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. Download yours today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Horror movie Annabelle Creation jolts the sleepy box office this weekend. The Conjuring spinoff scaring its way to an estimated $35 million in North American theaters, making it easily the top film of this weekend. Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk following up in second place with $11.4 million in its fourth weekend. The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature, sliding in to the number three spot. Clearly a slow weekend for movies. Well, the Sarasota Police Department made a new friend on patrol today. Check it out. Officers out patrolling New Pass, coming across a dolphin, swimming near the boat. Not just swimming, but kind of showing off a little bit, jumping around in the water there, coming up and, and down. It's a nice, certainly a nice view to have while working, especially if you're a police officer. Huh? Nice little break. Very from probably the normal boaters and swimmers <laughs> out there. <laughs> they just have such great personalities, don't they? They, they do, man. Happy. They're, like, they're like everybody's pets <laughs> out know, there. That's true. Dancing around. That's true. They're Adorable. just fun, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, go spot some dolphins this week when you're out of school, of course.